I moved back home. I found a dairy free donut I could actually eat at Mighty O in Ballard. And little did I know that something that started out as kind of a joke, something kind of silly and quirky and funny, turned into something so much more. After 100 days, here's how eating a donut had a bigger purpose. Why? Why are you eating donuts for 70 days? <laughs> Oh, really? It's our best seller. Little did the folks at Mighty O Donuts know when they partnered with me that a simple daily donut obsession would bridge two communities. It sparked conversation about, well, this is what happened back in 2014. This is how it affected people. It was the single deadliest landslide in U.S. history, taking the lives of 43 people near the small community of Oso. They were out there living it every single day. So just to be able to give anything back to help them to show our gratitude um, for everything that they've done. Five years have passed and still the legacies of those lives lost are kept quiet in the valley. It's important to me that the legacy of my sister lives on. Dane Bruner and Joel Johnson are hoping that will change by way of a memorial that shares about the people lost, the response efforts made, the resiliency of the community, and details behind the geological event itself. I'm going to make sure that everybody knows her and knows her story forever. And, and they deserve that. Hershita's and the other 42 victims deserve that. That memorial doesn't come cheap, though. The Oso Slide Memorial Fundraising Committee is seeking to raise in excess of $6 million to cover costs. I want to present you guys with this check from Mighty O Donuts for the Oso Landslide Memorial. A portion of the proceeds from the Raspberry Riot, the Mighty Oso Donut, were donated to the Slide Memorial, Mighty O making the $4,000 contribution in Seattle. That's a lot of donuts. Yeah. A lot of donuts. <laughs> I mean, I love the sacrifice because him and I, him and I sacrificed a lot to be out there for 60, 70 days. But for you to sacrifice your body to raise money. <laughs> <laughs> While the small, resilient community of Oso will be remembered for the landslide, it will not be defined by it. The people there, defined by community. A community that now stretches far beyond Oso and a donut obsession that turned into a little something more. It almost feels like the burden gets a little lighter. It does. And, uh, and it's a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. Just to see the, the, uh, the initiative and, and the forethought that went into this and the support from you and Q13 in general, it's just been phenomenal. In Seattle, have a good day. Allie Bradley, Q13 News. Well, the also